Okay, I'm going to put the timer on as we always do. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Powering. I'm a special education teacher at Northampton High School. Cool. And so, what will you kind of be focusing on with freshmen this year? I have a ninth grade math class, and I also am doing an academic support sort of strategy class. Um, that we'll have some nice in there as well. Okay, cool. And what is it, what one thing you really like about that math class? Oh my gosh, there's so much to like. Um, I love all the aha light bulb moments. I sort of live for them. I love when a lot of my students tend to not like math when they start and so they usually say things like, oh, I'm terrible at math, I hate math, it's horrible. And I'm always like, no, no, just give it a try. Um, and so when they do and they take that chance, they find those moments where they're like, wait, I get this, this makes sense. And um, so that's, there's lots of those that happen and those are always my favorite moments. That's cool, it is really satisfying. Math, I had a similar experience. When I was a freshman, I had a great teacher, turned me around on it and it is, there's an answer, you know? So not everything has an answer, but math does. And so when you get it, it's really, really exciting. Um, yeah. Did you have anything really fun this summer that happened? Anything stand out for you? Well, um, we, my daughter and I went to go visit my mom and we stayed in a cabin in Michigan on a little tiny lake. There are only five cabins on the whole lake and we were one of them. And oh. We had two or three cabins had people in them. <laughs> but oh. it was really like getting away from the stress of the summer and everything else happening. And it was just a really great opportunity to float in a lake for a little while and take a breather and um, I really, really enjoyed it. It was nothing yeah. fancy, um, just relaxation. Uh, you don't need much, you know, little cabins all you need. Um, now, can you tell us what were you like when you were a freshman going into high school? How would you describe yourself looking back now? So funny thing is that when I went to ninth grade, it was still in my middle school. So. Oh. Um, my ninth grade year was like the last year of my middle school. Um, okay, so let me, so re I was on let me reframe that then. What was it like being a 10th grader and going into high school? Oh, now that's a different story. Yeah. So then, and my, I went to a very, very large high school. I'm not from here locally. Um, and there were multiple buildings. So I had to like negotiate finding things in different buildings. And it was really... I think equal parts scary and equal parts exciting. I was sort of ready for a new challenge, but I was also nervous because I didn't know where I was going or how I, you know, how I would find my way. Um, but I think in the end, you know, you don't need to be the best friends with everyone. Just find a few people, find your people. And I think I did that and that worked really well for me. And then my people, once I got more comfortable, yeah, absolutely. Good couple of friends. That is really all you need. Um, what do you like about the high school? What's your favorite thing about the high school? Favorite thing about the high school are the teachers and the students. Some of my best friends work in Northampton High School. I feel like you're in good hands when you're in a class and I feel comfortable and confident that people will take good care of you and help you learn and grow. Um, and then the students, you know, I choose to work with the students I work with. That's my choice and I want to be there and I love working with them and they're important. And so what's not to love? I agree with you. And maybe one more quick question. Any piece of advice you have for remote learning for the students? My biggest advice is to communicate with your teachers or an adult in the building if you're having any trouble. There's not many things we can't figure out, but if we don't know what's going on, it's a lot harder. And I think it's easy when you're in your home to just sort of, you know, shut things down and not say what's happening. But if you tell us, I feel like we'll go to the ends, uh, ends of the world to try to figure out if we can help you make this make sense. So don't sit and suffer silently. There's people here to help. And um, so whether it's, I don't know how to do this assignment or I'm feeling really stressed, whatever it is, I think just telling someone and letting us help you, um, cause that's a big part of what we do. It's not just the academics, but trying to help you figure out how to be a healthy person even when there's a pandemic. Yeah, 
Uh, I couldn't agree with you more now more than ever. So, um, all right. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate you doing this, and you students are, have a lot to look forward to to, to meet you in on the virtual plane. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Cody, for taking time to talk to me today. I hope you have a good rest of your day. You too.